We want us to find the unique solution to the function below if f of one is equal to two. We are given f of x equals the indefinite integral of x to the fourth plus x squared minus one dx. So we'll first determine the antiderivative, which will give us the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the integrand function of x to the fourth plus x squared minus one, and then we can determine c, the constant of integration, because we know f of one is equal to two. So let's first determine the antiderivative by applying the power rule of integration. The antiderivative is equal to x to the fifth divided by five plus x to the third divided by three minus x plus c. So now we know the form of f of x is f of x equals, let's write this as one fifth x to the fifth plus one third x cubed minus x plus c. And then from here, because we know f of one is equal to two, if we substitute one for x, the function value must be two, which gives us the equation one fifth times the fifth power of one plus one third times the cube of one minus one plus c must equal two. Simplifying, we have one fifth plus one third minus one plus c equals two, and one fifth plus one third minus one is equal to negative seven fifteenths, giving us negative seven fifteenths plus c equals two. The last step to solve for c is to add seven fifteenths to both sides, which gives us c equals two or two over one plus seven fifteenths. And obtaining a common denominator of 15, we have c equals 30 fifteenths plus 7 fifteenths, which is 37 fifteenths. Now that we know c, we know the exact function f of x. We have f of x equals 1 fifth x to the fifth plus 1 third x cubed minus x plus c, where c is 37 fifteenths. I hope you found this helpful.